Why should leave you alone? You Come can't on, stop me. Stop kissing me like a fan. See you, Rosie. Rosie. If you don't see me, you don't talk to my friends. You don't have to depress your breath. Don't bring the pepper. You. What do you want? Who the fuck do you think you are? Emotions are high in the house right now. You know, during the live eviction show, Ibuka asked Ruthie about what she made, a uh, comment she made regarding Wani, which was that why is Wani accusing Onyeka of the same thing she's guilty of? So Ruthie had this conversation with DJ Flo during the whole kitchen, Bruhaha, Wani, Onyeka, Chimwe fight. And Ruti said, you're accusing Onyeka of the same thing you are. You both are stingy with food as well. So during the life eviction, Ibuka raised up this topic. And Ruti was like, I've told Wani to her face that she's stingy with food. She knows I'm a ticking time bomb. So, you know. So right now, after the whole eviction thing, Wani and Handy happens to be in the garden, gisting about the whole events of the day. And about Ruti saying that, they don't know the problem they have with this girl that they have not even really had full conversation with Ruti. So why would they be in Ruti's mouth? Ruti saying they are stingy with food. That this is why they don't like the idea of communal cooking. Can you see how it's turning out? So they are just having this convo in the garden, you know, just between them all. And they could sing the number you're calling is the devil, the number you're calling is not available. No, random convo. And then Ruti comes to take in her clothes and was like, I know you both are talking about me, but if you have the audacity, come say it to my face, call my name to my face. <laughs> what you handy? Say your name to your face. Immediately they exploded. They were like, Ruti, Ruti, what will you do? <laughs> It's actually funny that they were chanting her name back to back for two minutes. At this point, the housemates now had to gather and Ben had to take Ruthie away from the scene. With Ruthie saying, look at these two rats, you know, talking about me. Say it to my face. And they still went to her saying, what would you do, Ruthie? So, you know, act, do what you want to do. We are calling you right now in your presence. Show us what you want to do. But then had to come in and take Ruthie upstairs. Meanwhile, while this was happening, Mayor Frosch was in that garden, taking his clothes too. And this swain started giving it to Ruti and stray bullets had to hit, <laughs> had to hit Mayor Frosch as well. They told Ruti, you have a guy here touching your breast, touching your toto, yet you're not satisfied. Yes, you see the gay pepper body. Even it's while you have a guy touching you in this house, you still have pepper body that they don't blame you. This is a, the, the same guy you said you don't like or you don't want to run things with him. And immediately he won custodian. You rushed to him. You started giving your body to him. Oh my god. You know, I've always thought Wani was the crazy one. But hearing Handy go full out on Ruti and Mayo Frosh shocked me. Like, it shocked me. Wani was not the one coming Handy down. Like, Handy was going deep, deep. <laughs> Wani, who I thought was, you know, the general, of, the mama now, the one that usually goes out, goes hot at any little thing. It was now handy. In fact, Wani was telling Handy, no, calm down, calm down. Ruti does not want it. Ruti doesn't want taking you up there. You know, you don't have to say all that. Because Handy was really saying it deep, deep, you know, saying all those vulgar thing about Ruti and Mayor Frosh. They were like, who are you? Who are you to be saying we can't mention your name? Who are you? Ruti and Ruti was just saying, yeah, if they burn you well, if they burn you, they even went ahead to call her all sorts of names. They called her Baska, they called her Little Bitch, you know, they called her Smelly Thing, they called Ruti all sorts of names. That Ben just took Ruti upstairs. Meanwhile, I was expecting Mayor to react to. <laughs> Mayor did not say a word. He was just picking his clothes, picking his clothes. After that, he left for upstairs too. Meanwhile, after that show, the housemates, you know, the house, let me just say the house is divided into two right now. People are like, why take Dini out? Although Sean have told Toby and Mayor Fresh not to feel any kind of way that they went with their choice, that anybody who happens to be in their shoe will still go with their choice too. But then there is this cold cold body language in the house even nelly when all this was happening nelly came out you know you all know the story of nelly mayor frosh and ruthie nelly was so excited nelly was like oh 
the same guy you don't like but he won't custodian and you rush to him nelly kept on re- re- uh, repeating that same line i guess that that one the sweeter pass and knowing fully well that it was said in mayor frosh presence you know with these twins you can't say you didn't hear what they said they said it in your presence <laughs> anyways handy just surprised me this night guys i was thinking one it was the hot hot the as it the hot but it happens to be handy anyways let's see what's new the housemates are about going in to play for the custodian challenge ruti had already told her girls where uh, dj flow when uh, chingwe and zion that they need to get this that can you imagine that standing in week two how long will they keep standing if they're already standing in week two that they need to do something and get this custodian well Tension is high. The housemates have known that the game is on. It's no longer a vacay. It's no longer a honeymoon. Anybody can go. Anybody can take you out of the game. So let's go watch and see how it goes. Meanwhile, I would like to read your comments as well. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video. And I'll see you in my next video. Please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'm begging you. Please subscribe to my channel. Share my videos. Like comment most especially comment i want to see the comment section buzzling i want to read everything but you're also surprised by handy or you've known that handy is this way because trust me i've always been seeing handy as the calm cool-headed one in so many cases it's always handy trying to calm one it down but this night this night <laughs> it shows that i'm yet to know these beautiful twins i'm even yet yet to unravel their characters but let's see let's see what this week's bring let's see how the custodian game brings and i know for sure more drama goes to show more things go happen it's no longer kumbaya it's no longer honeymoon it's no longer a eh, biggie the house is cool everyone is good with everybody things are beginning to happen so guys i'll see you in my next video thank you for watching and do have a lovely night bye